Well, quite a different scene this morning, waking up to calm weather and the winds dying down for your Thursday morning. This time yesterday, whoo, what a mess we had. But right now across the state, temperatures still a little chilly in areas like Great Falls and Helena around the mid uh, to upper 20s there and even down in Dubuque about 17 degrees. So pretty chilly this morning across the state, but as we move along throughout the day, we will see some warming across the radar right now. You don't need me to tell you. You could probably see right here that the radar is fairly clean right now, if you will. Pretty clean, pretty dry, not much going on. But as we spread out and look across the United States, we're seeing the remnants of this convective system that really wreaked some havoc across the southeast yesterday and the day before. And Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina caused some significant damage and some severe storms. Even a few tornadoes were dropped out of that. As we take a look at the radar scan over the next uh, this was over the past 24 hours, Some important to us here in Montana. Just remember how quick those things can ramp up, especially in Montana. We are a very convective state in our severe weather seasons and storms can really ramp up very quickly, especially here with our wind, as you've seen over the past 24 hours, completely changing weather patterns over the past 24 hours. But so take a look at your global satellite here over the past 18 hours. We'll see some changes going on. As we'll point out here, this is our next weather maker. We are in a high pressure system. You'll see this ridge building over Montana, over western Montana right now, bringing some warmer temperatures to us for the moment, for about today and tomorrow. And then over to our east, here's the low pressure system that's spinning off to our east and out. But over the next two days, we'll see this ridge will stick around until about your evening Friday, and then things will really start to shift to a colder and more snowy pattern. No, it's, that's not a joke. We will see some snow next week, you'll see in just a moment. But as we take a look at today, we're going to see temperatures rising into the 60s in Great Falls and Helena over in eastern Montana. Just a tad bit cooler, but clear skies once again. And tomorrow, before that cold front moves in tomorrow evening, we will see temperatures getting pretty warm from mid-70s there in Great Falls and Helena. But as the front moves in, instability will rise. We could see a few isolated thunderstorms even later on in the day especially rainfall with the cold front making its way through and winds will increase just a tad bit. See some pressure gradient winds a little bit before that front makes its way through. As we take a look at Saturday, more and moisture making its way through the state as the front makes its way out. We're going to see some snow rain mixing possible in Great Falls it's Helena and uh, in Helena as the temperature continues to plummet as we move into your Sunday. Look at this, more snow in the forecast for Sunday. Widespread pretty much across the state, give or take a few areas up in uh, northeastern Montana, but it will get there eventually. And as we move along throughout your future track, we move through pretty quickly here, you'll see next week, even another system will push in some more colder air uh, later on into next week from the northeast, really bringing up the chance for some snow as we move into late next week, but we'll eventually will clear out next Friday. We'll see some more moisture on Saturday and Sunday. If you want to get out and do anything outside, Helen and Great Falls, Andy, you're really going to want to do it today or tomorrow because you can see on that seven day, you don't need me to explain that either. You can see moisture <laughs> pretty much every day in the forecast, but I'll welcome it because we need it for sure. Yeah, thanks for the heads up, Trey.